Hey guys, I started my carpentry career with Makita tools and back then miter saws were called chop saws and they were corded. At that time, Makita was the go-to company for woodworkers and carpenters. They were pretty much the only game in town. Many of the first tools of the trade that, that I had were Makita brand and 25 plus years later, I'm still using Makita. This past year, I've added a new work van to my company and I wanted to stock it with Makita's new 40 volt XGT tools. XGT stands for Next Generation Technology and they launched it in 2019. And it was designed basically to deliver more power for more demanding applications without sacrificing runtime. They've also been able to make those XGT tools as compact as the 18 volt line, which I'm used to using. And for me, compact tools are a must have. Now additionally, I've noticed that the 40 volt line, it's been performing extremely well, top score or top three in our Toolbox Buzz head-to-head -head tests, such as our reciprocating saw test, the impact driver head-to-head -head test, our track saw test, and even the uh, compact miter saw test. So to be clear, the XGT line, it's a premium pro-grade line of power tools and performs and is priced accordingly. These tools are designed to be used daily and to withstand the harsh job site environments that we do, you know, that is tough on tools that we put them through. As far as battery charging goes, I permanently installed this double and two single battery chargers on the rear rack uh, shelving of my van. These chargers, they plug into this commercial grade um, power strip and it goes to a shoreline on the outside of the van that I can plug into at night or at a job site for charging these batteries. And I don't have to get in and out of the van, which I like. Um, I use these stealth mount clips right here, battery clips, so that I can just quick access to batteries while I'm outside the van, which is great. I have a uh, 40 volt to 18 volt converter as well, so I can still use my drywall cutter, which is an 18 volt tool, and my um, uh, paddle mixer, my, my mud mixer. The XGT tools and batteries, they all talk to each other. So the tool talks to the battery, the battery talks to the tool, the battery and the charger communicate. It all, all works together as a system. I think what I was most impressed with was um, the, the battery casing. We drop batteries all the time. Super impact resorbing padding, uh, robust outer casing, IPX4 level of protection from spray and water from any direction. Um, I was super impressed with the tough design and construction, water resistant design built into these batteries. To me, that equates to a durable platform that's going to perform long term on a job site. I feel that storage systems and being organized is super important as a contractor and I went with um, kind of this bot smart fan system. And I did it because uh, being organized saves me time and money and protects my tools and my investment. The thing I like about this Bot Smart Fan system is it's fully customizable, it's flexible, it's vehicle specific with vehicle specific mounting brackets that are designed to be installed with DIY basically. There's no drilling into the vehicle frame. Um, I've got it in two vans now and love it. Here's what I like about it. I can take this box, put it here, this drawer here, I can swap things around. I can change the center divider and, and rotate as I uh, discover new workflows. I've got these organizers that I use for parts. Um, if you look here, here's where I keep my reciprocating saw with, you know, all of my bits and stuff and I label it. I've got open drawers where I have my track saw because I don't want it banged around. And my circular saw here. And I usually store it like that so it stays flat on the shelf and I just bungee it in place. Um, yeah, I mean, all of these tools come with me on a job site. I can pull them out and just carry them. They uh, basically, you know, my drill, an extra battery, drill bits, accessories that go with it. So it's a nice system and I like it for that reason. And what I did is I set up my boxes as kits so uh, my drill has everything I need for my drill in it my impact has everything I need for my impact in it um, my router right here, my router has everything I need for the router so you know if I grab my router I've got my battery 
and then all the bits I've got the dust collection port parts and the um, the guide the edge guide same, same thing with my planer planer has an extra battery edge guide all my parts the dust bag and good to go and these boxes will click together and um, they'll go onto a dolly which I have back here and I can roll it around inside a job site um, I don't have a two-wheel dolly yet. That's something I think I'd like to add. So when I start thinking about growing my 40-volt tools in this truck and replacing some of the other brands or whatever, um, Makita has 125 tools on the XGT platform, but it doesn't have everything I need as a carpenter yet. There's no table saw, multi-tool, right angle impact, or a full line of finish nailers. They do have a pin nailer and a vacuum, two tools that I don't have yet. Um, regarding the vacuum, most of the XGT uh, dust creating tools that I have use Auto Start Wireless, AWS, and it's compatible. So what that means is once I pick up a Makita vacuum, I can connect it with my miter saw, track saw, grinder, and router. The AWS system utilizes Bluetooth technology to wirelessly power on and off the tool. It's uh, wireless communication between a dust extractor and the tool. To operate it, you just need to add a transmitter, it's this little guy right here, into the tool. And um, after pairing the tool with the vacuum and the Bluetooth, the vacuum turns on and off whenever the saw or tool is turned on and off, and then it runs for a few seconds to clear the hose. I've tested this AWS system a dozen, not a dozen times, a bunch of times on uh, some of my tool reviews, and um, it's really sweet, and it will be one of my next purchase items for this van no doubt because I need a better dust extraction system all right so this is pretty much um, my setup right now my initial setup to get me going in this van uh, and I have other tools in here as you can see there's other things to fill the gaps my final thoughts is um, why I chose XGT to stock my van I've been a big fan of the Makita LXT 1836 volt tools for a while uh, Makita has a, a legacy with carpenters a history and so for me, jumping to this LXT line, uh, it made sense for me because I was starting from scratch. I'm not trying to supplement a battery platform and I can get the same or better power, one battery on the 40 volt. Also, Makita is building out what they call XGT X2. And this configuration is going after kind of high output power, gas powered tools, stuff like that. Think uh, 14 inch power cutters, brush cutters, vacuum capacity for vacuums, demo, rotary hammers, big tools that, that use up a lot of juice. I'm sure we'll see Makita use the XGT X2 configuration on many high output tools and they're gonna go after all those because you have to go after them on tools that use power and runtime. For me, this line is gonna give my business a pro grade, powerful, full featured uh, tool setup with way better runtimes. It's a robust system, they're well made tools and, and uh, I'm good to go with them. The way I look at it, I just upgraded my Chevy to a Mercedes. Actually, it's, it's a Ram. <laughs> Guys, take care. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick look at, at my uh, first outfit of tools for the van. Um, I'll be doing a van tour on another video at another time. Take care.